Hello, I'm Frances Hellman, President of the American Physical Society. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2022 APS March meeting, the largest physics meeting of the year. After two years of completely virtual events and Zoom fatigue, we are thrilled to be able to hold a safe and inclusive hybrid meeting, and one that I hope will be as scientifically significant as this meeting has always been. Whether you're joining us in Chicago or online, we have an exciting meeting in store. The invited sessions, tutorials, and short courses are being live streamed and recorded for on-demand viewing. The focus and contributed sessions have been pre-recorded for viewing. I am particularly looking forward to the special Nobel Prize session on the physics of climate change and complex systems as well as the Kavli Foundation's special symposium. The hybrid meeting format is new to all of us. Like any experiment, we will try things and learn from them. I ask that you treat each other and yourself with kindness and understanding. Together, we can create a welcoming and productive APS March meeting experience for all. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 2022 American Physical Society March meeting. My name is David Campbell. I'm a professor of physics, electrical and computer engineering, and material science and engineering at Boston University. I have the privilege of serving as chair of the March meeting program committee. I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to the many unit program chairs and sorters who have generously contributed their time and expertise to make this meeting possible. I'd also like to add my thanks to the APS staff who have worked exceptionally hard to meet the challenges of the hybrid meeting format in which nearly 40% of our attendees will be joining us virtually while 60% will be in person in Chicago. Our March meeting represents 30 APS units and committees showcasing the incredible depth and breadth of our field. As physicists, we have the tools to tackle some of the modern world's most pressing challenges this year's scientific program includes cutting edge research at the frontiers of quantum science and technology, climate and energy, biological and medical physics, material science, robotics, and so much more. This year's March meeting also marks the first time since 2019 when we have been able to have an in-person component of the meeting. It has been a very challenging two years, most recently marked by the Russian invasion of the Ukraine which the APS has officially condemned on its website. Physics is universal and international in scope, and we must all seek ways to support our Ukrainian and Russian colleagues and their families in these difficult times. I wish us all a safe and productive APS March meeting. I look forward to seeing many of you in person in Chicago. Thank you very much.